Cornbread's back right here at South Bank. Today we're going to be gunsmithing. Gunsmithing is my favorite hobby. And as with every hobby I do, we're going to be drinking beer. A buddy of mine, Dick Van Dyke, brought this gun by today. And uh, he's having a few problems with it. So we're going to make a few minor adjustments. But I want to go ahead and tell you up front, the gunsmithing is not for everybody. It's a dangerous hobby, and it requires all the right tools of which I've spent many years collecting. The first thing you always want to do when you're gunsmithing, the very first thing, ain't no telling what kind of jackass will bring you a gun. He could be a total moron, and most of the time, somebody who doesn't know these basic things about guns, he's dumb. That's okay, it's how I make a living. I'm the one doing the smithing. When you get a gun, the very first thing you need to do is go ahead and make sure that it is, first of all, a safe weapon. A safe weapon is a weapon that doesn't have any bullets in it. So, uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. You know, uh, you could look down the end of the barrel and see if it was loaded. You could open the chamber or pull the trigger. This gun was loaded. Hell, it's still loaded. One thing for damn sure, that's the best way to tell it's unloaded. If you've shot all the bullets out of it, by God, it's unloaded. Well, Dick brought his rifle by now that we got that out of the way. Well, I'm going to have to have a talk with old Dick. Uh, this little beauty right here is a Marlin semi-automatic 22 with a custom camouflage paint job done right here at Brad Smithing. First thing we're going to do to this gun is uh, he wants to pass it on down. It's such a nice piece. So we're going to shorten the stock just a titch. And uh, he said it was hitting a little bit to the left. We're going to drift the rear sight to the left. Damn it! Now that you got it all shortened up, feeling pretty sweet. We're gonna drip that side. I know it's right hot because I can feel it. And that takes a lot of training to know. But when it's right, it's right. Right now, it's right. Okay? We're gonna drip this side. Now, it's going to look a little harsh, but it's right. You just want to barely graze it across the rear blade in a manner such as this. Not quite it. Get my friend on. My gun vice brought to you by Natural Light. We're going to give her one more drift here, and I think she's going to be good. Now, something I generally don't do is work on a gun without my safety goggles. I got a little splatter then. That's the one right there. She is going to be a straight shooter. There ain't no damn way she couldn't be. Thank you. 